Hey guys, this is GreenyXI welcoming you to Let's Play Eternal Sonata Episode 8. Let's get moving. <laughs> Just carry on. Oop. Time for the third boss. And we're gonna get rid of the rats first. Same as with the other boss that they had. You know. Ooh, we did quite a bit of damage here, didn't we? Okay. Yeah. All the way around and get him. And guard even. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay, let's go up here. Face around so that he can do that. And now let's get some shots of the boss. I'm gonna spend one more beats turns doing that. While I heal with a floor powder. When you heal in this game, the heal item goes to goes to the character who has the least health. They have to be in a certain sort of radius. Oh god. Let's go all out on attack now, apart from Beat who's gonna heal himself. I think that's a good idea. Ah, why not? Not gonna get much money for those, but <laughs> Oops. okay, missed that one. That's what I get for being cocky. <laughs> right, let's get some rapid shots in. Ah, uh, we can only get some in. Shooter, not shots. Although they are shots. Whatever. <laughs> You can do better than that. Whatever your name is. Okay. He's gonna go in behind you, isn't he? And... Do loads of damage there. Let's get some healing done. Another one. We're now at the healing items, but... I'm thinking... Just boss me down pretty soon. Okay. Let's get him. Right, with Al Allegre Allegretto, <laughs> I'm gonna do this, and then with. Ah. Uh, I was hoping the built up echo chain would do loads. Add loads of damage, but apparently not because he guarded it. The git. Okay, he won't be able to guard it this time because he's not facing the right way. And again. Ah, not again, okay. One more round and he should be down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Still alive, just about. Here we go, we're done. Okay, that's quite a tough boss actually. Stone Sword Hilt. I think that takes your attack up by one or two. New accessory. I'm still growing, you know. Level seven. Both of them. No new moves? No? Okay. If we don't hurry, we're gonna get caught in the rain. So what? We can handle a little rain. I mean, the hideout's roof leaks like crazy. <laughs> and that's just when it drizzles. Yeah, you got a point there. Thank you. 
Okay, these are extremely annoying. They are the annoying part about this game. They tell you the history of Chopin in a sort of boring, bland way. <laughs> Look at that. Realistic photos in a, in a cartoony game. It, it doesn't quite match for me. Can I skip it? Yep. We're going to skip. I mean, if you want to learn about Chopin, go and read a book. <laughs> Let's skip. Like it's finally started raining. You know, the rain makes the plants look even more alive. For Chinudo's flowers, the rain is a blessing from heaven. Okay, it's these two's turn to get through the forest. Safe game? Yeah, better add. Better add. Because that was a toughish boss. Probably the first boss you can really get stuck on. If you haven't been leveling properly. <clears throat> I don't know the names of these bosses in this game. In this game, so... I'm not going to be able to refer to them properly, but... There we go. The saving takes longer in the PS3 version, I think. Seems like it, anyway. Just, just. We're actually coming from the north to the south with these guys, I think. No, we're not. Whatever. <laughs> there's new treasure chests and everything anyway. I'll show you this battle because it's raining. It's a bit of a change, isn't it? So the battlefield is now actually mostly dark instead of mostly light, like when it when we came through with Allegretto and Beat. I miss quite a lot with her, don't I? <laughs> Down he goes. Is that it? Yep, good. Okay, let's get a chest chest. Little river coming down the mountain. Okay, <laughs> now we'll go this way. The only other way we can go. Okay, Polka leveled up. I'm not sure, did we learn a new move with one of these? Um, yeah, Coupe de Grace. Instead of healing now, a sunny move can be Coupe de Grace, which does one hit and does damage, which knocks them back a lot. As it says, strong knockback. Ooh, Renegade Ops. Trial. <laughs> but yeah, we want to keep him healing, don't we? We want them both to heal as much as possible. Um, yeah, we want them both to have as many opportunities to heal if they ever need to, so... Coupe de Grace is a bit useless for Frederick right now. I think. Okay, I'll get rid of these two enemies. There we go. Let's carry on a bit more. Plenty of enemies in this forest, anyway. <laughs> okay, Frederick leveled up at one point there. Down here, there should be a treasure chest. Yeah. Glowing tail. Glowing tail. Right, that, that puts sunshine around a character for the battle. Or at least a, a bit of the battle. So that they can keep using light moves throughout. Oop, missed. <laughs> White umbrella. Oh, good. Let's see. 43. Wow, eight more attack. Glossy black cloth. Wonder how it's always wet. How'd they do it? Um, up here, and me. Alright, okay. Let's keep going. I go go forest north. Okay, we're nearly there. Plenty of battles here, I'll get rid of all the enemies in this area and then see you again. Oh, this is a new enemy actually. I'll let you see this one. I think it's a new enemy anyway. How pitiful. You soulless. Actually, you might have seen it once before. But... Yeah, definitely, because I went down pretty quick. Okay, come on, Polka. All the way down. I suppose those glowing tail items that we... Like the one we found in that chest just, just now. It's actually really helpful around this area, isn't it? Do some healing whenever you want. 
in an area which is mainly dark. This is but a brief okay, I'll cut out the rest now. See you in a bit. Okay, so Polka leveled up in in amongst all that and learned a new skill, Nether Wave. It's that is a dark move. I know that one. Infinite range for that, but for Nether Wave you have to be pretty nearby. Six hits, 2.8 seconds, so it's longer as well. Close combat attack with the final attack region enemies in the back. But I think it's more powerful, because she's learning it at a high level. So it must be good. Let's go for that, Nether Wave. In theory, it must be good, anyway. <laughs> Let's keep going. And see what... Nope, nothing. Okay. And see what else we can find. Anything down here? Nothing? Oh, okay. <laughs> just, just over here, so I'd better fight this. Okay, Nether Wave is pretty amazing. At this point in the game, it does so much damage, especially if you get the Echo Chain. Hunting Club. Especially if you get the Echo Chain up to about maybe eight. It does a lot of damage. Hunting Coat um, is only for him, Frederick, as well as one other character later on in the game. Seven more defense? Wow. <laughs> That's good. It's real good. Let's keep going. Oh, enemy. How pitiful, you soulless creatures. Okay, Frederick leveled up there. Another battle. Okay, um, before I fight that, I'm gonna break the video here. I must well show you how to do the item sets for a moment. You've got items, which are just every item you've got. And item sets are what you've got in your sort of, say, bag, ready for the battle. You can only have a certain amount in battle. So we'll have an Angel Trumpet, which takes up 3p. As you can see, the maximum is 10p, and we've used up 3 out of that. And uh, on the right, right sort of middle. 1000 HP recovered, I think that would be good. Get a f get quite a few of those, and that. There we go, we've got two reviving items, and how many? Two reviving items, and four healing items, which heal by 1000 each. So, there we go. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in a bit, when we see what else is in store in this forest.